So first thing we do, we get about 10 yards apart, or you, you can stay right there, and we would just do feet in cement. So we would say, leave your feet here, and it was all just working on your torso. We talked about how when you throw the ball, you got three cameras, one in your shoulder, one in your belly button, one there, and you want to take a picture with wherever you're, wherever I'm throwing the ball. Of course, Patrick doesn't always do that. Sometimes he'll throw it here, and he's never got all those cameras there on it. So it doesn't matter where you're at, you want to get that there. So we just go feet in cement and just work on, boom, right there. Is that something that you so you don't move your feet. So your feet okay. stay right where we're at now. And you're here and then right there. We would warm up before a game. Usually, you know, you've got half of the field and we're over on our half and the team that we're playing is on the other side. And so Patrick would take it and uh, he would try to throw it into their whatever drill they were doing. If they had punters that were working or guys that were fielding the punt, he's trying to throw it. Him and Ryan Cheatham are trying to hit those guys over there on the other side. Hit the other players? Yeah, we'll just kind of let, let them know that they're there. Where would you put his arm in the league right now well, compared to all the other NFL quarterbacks? I'd have to say that, uh, you know, there's some pretty strong arms in the NFL. I, I got to rank him at the top. I mean, I, I can't bet against my boy. You know, anybody that knows Patrick, and you're asking me who you, who you gonna put your money on or who do you have, I mean, you gotta have Patrick. Since you got to coach him, what's something that maybe nobody knows about him that you do? Well, we had a good relationship, but not one to where I, mean, I could tell you anything about him that somebody didn't know. I mean, everyone knows now he loves ketchup. Uh, they've got, you know, everybody knows that. We would uh, feed the kids from time to time, or we'd have them over to the house, and my wife has two different chilies that, that we make. Uh, at the house and one of them's kind of heavy on the tomato and ketchup and that was the one that Patrick always liked. Going back to his game uh, against the Tennessee Titans AFC Championship game, there was a play, you retweeted it, the one where he was in high school and he made the run into the end zone. It looked really similar to his 27 yard touchdown run. What was going through your head when you kind of saw those similarities? Uh, this weekend my brother actually came in uh, came over to the house and so we're watching the game together and so Pat's senior year my brother was the offensive coordinator and he's the one who called all the plays and so as that play's going out you're asking me what are we going through we just kind of both stop and look at each other and he says that's just like that running back rail I called against Arlington Seguin and then later on I saw where coach Beaton was actually the one who had a piece of it and so it was pretty cool you know to see that and remember him doing that in high school and um, I sent him that video before I gave before I shared that with anybody else I actually sent it to Patrick first and I said hey man that four down play I said, this is the one everybody keeps talking about. And he said, yeah, coach. He said, that's the one I thought of after the game. He's going to run like that in this next game if, he's gotta, if he has to do that. He's going to do whatever it takes. If it means, you know, I've got, I've got to throw the ball, um, he's not going to be caught up in the stats. And to him, it doesn't matter how many touchdown passes he throws for. He just wants to win. So if he's got to pull it down and run like he did the other day two or three times, I'm he's going to pull it down. He's going to run like that, whatever he's got to do to win this game.